Hey everybody, I'm gonna make this insanely quick video to show you a feature that is really, really powerful inside of ConvertKit. Any good email autoresponder will do this in some way. They might use different code. You're welcome to try the code that I'm gonna give you, uh, but every software should have a way to do it. I'm gonna show you just specifically how to do it in ConvertKit. Okay, and the trick is adding people's names into their emails. Everyone knows that these people aren't sending emails like one by one, right? So when I get an email that says, hey, Nate, I don't think that the person at Walmart is really sending me an email specifically, but it does increase the odds of me clicking because it shows that they know who I am at least. If I get just a random email, I can, open rates aren't gonna be the same. So it does actually work. It's not overplayed, it's not corny. Just, if you wanna do it, you're already on this video, so I assume you wanna do it. So here's how to do it. So inside of ConvertKit, we're just gonna come here and do broadcasts. And you can put this in automations and sequences. It doesn't just have to be a regular broadcast. I'm just gonna to come to new broadcast. I'll just put blank test. And then right here, the code is just this. I'm, I've already copied it and pasted it. And I've also put it down in the comments. So don't worry about screenshotting this or anything. It looks like this. The only thing that you'll need to change here is the word there if you don't want the word to be there so this is what's going to happen it's going to put and then you have to put a salutation there in front so i'm going to put hey and it's going to say subscriber first name and what's cool about this is that it's going to actually capitalize it so sometimes it would just take it by default so without that capitalization it would just put whatever they put in there and it could have been real wonky like they might have lowercase the first letter and then uppercase everything else and then they get the email they're like oh what the hell this looks stupid obviously this person's just using an automation software even though everybody knows we're using it it just it looks bad so doing this will it'll capitalize their name lowercase everything else but if there is no name for that subscriber it'll just put there if i wanted to change that i could put hey subscriber whatever i want to put there right so that is the only thing you need to look out for. And then on my code, I do have a comma there, but if you want, you just erase that and put anything else you want. If you want to put an exclamation point, you can do that. All right, so that is what it will look like. And then another thing that we can do is in the preview text, you can put it there too. So you can put whatever you want. Uh, if you are on my email list, you've seen me do it. I'd love to do it. Uh, the only thing is that you're gonna to need to make sure that you're collecting first names. So on all of my opt-ins, even though maybe it hurts conversions a little tiny bit, I always collect first names. I make first names required, okay? But you're probably wondering, how do I make sure that this actually works? I know the feeling, you're afraid that it's gonna send something crazy and wonky. So what you're gonna do is just click on preview. And I'm gonna preview a subscriber, I'll put as myself. And there it is, hey Nathan, right? And if I wanted to make sure that the other preview is working in the text that shows up in the email in the preheader. I can just come into my inbox. See right here, hey Nate, shows up in both spots, right? Awesome. Go out there and use it guys. Again, the code is down below. Just copy it, paste it. The only thing you need to change is that word there. Just make sure that you're using the correct salutation in the front and then the correct punctuation mark at the end, whether it's a comma or a question mark or an exclamation point. All right, have fun. Go out and use that.